St. Charles County's Department of Public Health is investigating after a puppy died shortly after being in a kennel's care. Fox 2 Zara Barker is live in Winsville tonight at one of the facilities after talking with the owner of the dog and the kennel. Zara. A family tells me they dropped off their puppy at Weston Kennels, not this location here in Wentzville, but a different location in the area. The family tells me they expected to pick up a healthy puppy when they returned from vacation, but they tell me that's not what happened. The Baldwin family dropped off five month old George before heading to Gulf Shores on vacation. We dropped him off, um, didn't think anything of it, went on our vacation. He was just a typical five month old puppy, and, you know, he he didn't deserve this. When they picked him up, they say he wasn't acting himself. We want to know what happened to George as much as his parents do. Kevin West owns Weston Kennels where George stayed. Uh, according to the reports that I have, and the photos that I have, you know, George came in and he was acting and eating like a normal puppy would for the first eight days of his stay. On the ninth day of his stay, it was reported that he had regurgitated some food. So when an incident occurs, a non-emergency incident such as a first regurgitation, um, it is noted on their tracking form and they're observed for a period of six hours. Uh, in this case, Dad picked up within that observation period, so further steps were not taken. Baldwin says when her husband picked George up from the kennel, he was told he had thrown up earlier in the day. Then there's two accounts of how George was acting when he left the facility. I have statements that say that when the dog came out, he was definitely um, what they would consider acting like a sleepy puppy, but wagging his tail and accepting friendly pets from the staff. We had to lift him out of the truck and he just laid in the front yard. Not like a, you know, a normal Five month old golden retriever would be happy to be home and seeing us and the boys. He couldn't even lift his head. He Baldwin says George threw up again in the car and they took him to the vet um, where he was transferred to an emergency hospital. Inside. Just getting home from vacation, you have a, a healthy, normal five month old puppy before you leave and then getting home and all of this was just too much to process. And like, what do you mean he might not make it to the hospital. She says he was on oxygen for five days before he was discharged. He was on the highest level of oxygen that they could have him on in an oxygen tank from Tuesday evening to Saturday. Um, they were finally able to wean him off of the oxygen. He seemed to be doing all right. And so still they said it was going to be two to three weeks of recovery at home, but they were going to send him home with medicine. Um, and so we went and picked him up on Saturday. The discharge papers Baldwin shared with us show George was diagnosed with pneumonia, likely secondary to aspiration. He was given antibiotics to continue for at least two weeks and then follow up with the vet to recheck chest x-rays, but he didn't make it that far. He died about an hour and a half, two hours later in my husband's arms in our living room. He was gone. I'm not always at the facility. I don't always know what happens, <sighs> but I trust my staff. There is nothing that points to the mishandling of George. We don't want another animal to lose their life. They can't speak for themselves, and so we need to speak for them. We don't want that to happen again, and so that's what we're doing. The health department tells me this is the first time they've investigated this facility. Live from St. Charles County, Zara Barker, Fox 2 News.